Cindy Lauper, the trailblazing Grammy Tony and Emmy Award winning pop sensation, known for timeless hits like Girls Just Wanna Have Fun and Time After Time, opens up about her views on contemporary stars, political figures, and her ongoing creative endeavors as she prepares for her farewell tour. In a rare and candid interview set against the backdrop of Central Park, the 71-year-old New Yorker exudes the same dynamism that defined her career. Dressed incognito yet unmistakable, Lauper dons dark shades and a vibrant red top, reflecting her signature style that has captivated audiences for decades. When I sang, I felt free Lauper reflects recalling her early influences in the liberating power of music. Her upcoming projects include a stage musical adaptation and a poignant documentary titled Let the Canary Sing, offering insights into her life and legacy. Discussing her appearance on The Celebrity Apprentice alongside Donald Trump, Lauper doesn't mince words. His kids were on the show. I thought he couldn't be that bad, she muses, but I didn't know they were going to put him in the effing White House. Her sharp critique underscores her longstanding advocacy for LGBTQ rights and women's issues, epitomized by her 2022 launch of the Girls Just Want to Have Fundamental Rights Abortion Fund. Despite her bold stance on political matters, Lauper reserves admiration for fellow artists like Taylor Swift, whom she sees as navigating fame with grace, I admire Taylor Swift so much, I don't know how she deals with it, Lopper confesses, reflecting on the pressures of celebrity life. As she prepares to bid farewell to the stage with her global tour kicking off this October in Canada, Lopper remains a cultural force, inspiring new generations of artists and activists alike. With her indomitable spirit and unwavering commitment to her art and causes, Cindy Lopper continues to redefine what it means to be an icon, leaving an indelible mark on music and society.